Saif is a, a very active young woman in Egypt. She started the No Military Trials campaign back at the time of the, of the uprising. Mona Saif represents a new generation of human rights activists, a generation that is highly committed to democracy, like many before, but uses new tools to promote democracy and uphold the rule of law. Mona played a really critical role throughout the Arab Spring and beyond in seeking to bring democracy to Egypt and human rights to Egypt through the use of innovative tools like Facebook and Twitter. Her group, No to Military Trials for Civilians, has been particularly effective in a short span of time uh, in raising awareness both at the domestic and international levels. Uh, her group in Egypt has for many years been identified with fighting against torture and police brutality and fighting for workers' rights and for peasants' rights. When I say she's a new voice, she's the voice of uh, the new young people who were so active in the, uh, in the revolution in Egypt. And in, in targeting uh, no military justice, she's targeting one of the main causes of the revolution, getting rid of an apparatus of repression and injustice. And she has done so by mobilizing an enormous amount of people on this basic cause, making it from a more elitist call to really a broadly supported uh, call for justice in Egypt. She's incredibly brave. She's always at the front lines. She's very careful. She verifies the information that she reports. She's very strategic at sustaining the campaign and at pulling in different actors, whether politicians or, or, or the media. And so I think that the work that she did um, via the No to Military Trials campaign actually contributed to raising broader questions in Egypt about the role of the military in the context of the transition, because the military was trying to expand its control. And so I think voices like Muna's that consistently spoke out against an expansion of the military, against use of the military justice system instead of the civilian justice system, played a crucial role in the transition in Egypt over the last two years. Mona Saif has experienced in her family life that if you work politically, you get under pressure and you have to uh, face detention and other uh, repressive means. And she still has not been um, demoralized by it, but has said, I'm, I'm still um, putting my life into this work. And I think the nomination also shows that in Egypt today, human rights offenders remain under threat, but the apparatus of oppression and repression is still in place and still needs to be dismantled. And I think the Martin Arnold's nomination is evidence of that need that we continue to be solidaire with human rights offenders in Egypt, with people like Mona, who with great courage will have to continue their work in the future.